Today's video I want to show you a very cool new bushcraft pack from Hidden Woodsman. Made in America. Awesome bag. Stick around. It's going to be a good video. So if you follow this channel for any stretch of time, you know that um, I love Hidden Woodsman gear. Um, I've highlighted and reviewed lots of his stuff, a lot of different packs, um, a lot of different pouches, haversacks. And if you don't know Hidden Woodsman, well then you need to educate yourself, especially if you're a bushcrafter, because his stuff is um, probably one of the most top-notch um, handmade made in the usa small batch uh custom semi-custom uh, bushcraft gear and he comes out with stuff all the time different styles he's always challenging himself by coming up new with new designs um, and i'm always improving his style now it has been 10 years i believe since he started doing this and um, I will say I was one of, one of the few first customers, um, and I'm sure there's other guys ahead of me, but I, I was in that with those guys buying stuff when he first started. And when I look back at the stuff that I bought from him back then and where his things are at now, uh, there has been a huge progression in his craftsmanship, um, in his abilities. Uh, Malcolm is a fantastic business owner. He listens to people. Um, he cares about the people who are using his stuff and their feedback and um, you know I've been I've had a privilege of a working relationship with him for 10 years now and tried a lot of his stuff and the new bag that he came out with on his 10 year anniversary is this pack right here this is the model 23 rucksack now if you go to his website um, and you look at some other videos maybe out there this bag is kind of marketed um, as an EDC bag uh, I've seen a, quite a few things where it's saying it's an EDC bag and um, when I saw this pack um, I didn't think that at all I really saw the potential in this as a bushcraft day pack um, that could be stretched into an overnight bag so out um, but the capacity is 21 liters it is 500D Cordura on most of the bags. I think there's one camouflage that he offers that's actually 1000D, um, and it is lined. So let's go through the features, um, show you this bag in depth, um, and tell you my thoughts on it, um, because so far from me using it out here, just hiking around, um, I have enjoyed it, and I think it's gonna be definitely a great bag to have. Um, let's, let's see how I'm utilizing it. All right, so it's kind of an unusual backpack in that it's not your typical zipper pack. Um, it has a flap, and this flap, of course, has a zipper pocket up here. Now, this is something that Malcolm does a lot with his bags. He lines his packs and bags um, with a neon material. That is a fantastic um, design feature when you load them up um, it's hard to find contents it's hard to see into them especially when it starts getting dusk dark so the neon um, interior helps create some contrast and some brightness um, so this pocket is lined in that neon yellow material and then in here what i've got is i've got my 
pack hanging rope that I put together. So that I just put that around a tree and then I can attach that carabiner to the to the um, carry strap and then hang my pack. I've got a first aid pouch from uh, Tough Possum Gear, another fantastic manufacturer made in the USA. And then, of course, some, some wipes. I guess I gotta do my business in the woods. So that's what I keep up here. Really, um, you know, just minimal stuff, things that I'm gonna need to grab and go quickly. Uh, the zippers on his pet bags are top quality. I believe they're all YKK. Um, he puts on these long zipper pulls on his stuff, and I think that's great. It's a great option. It makes a lot of sense, especially when you're working with gloves in the wintertime. Um, it's just easier to get bags open. And you can see in here how smooth that zipper is, right? Coming around to the sides, there are water bottle pockets um, on each side of the pack. They do have a drain hole. On this side, I've got my water bottle. Now one thing to note, these bottle pockets do not uh, fit, well let me say it this way, they don't fit the 32 ounce fatter bottles well. You can get them in there, they're a little tight. The skinnier bottles tend to do better, a little bit easier to get in and out, especially when you got the inside of the pack loaded. And then moving around to the back, we have a really nice um, quality sewn grab handle. There's double stitching on this. That's all out of tubular nylon webbing. Uh, decent padded shoulder straps with a bit of a curve to them so they're going to conform to your body, go with your body. Uh, the pack does not come with a sternum strap but you can purchase one as an add-on. Uh, so I added a sternum strap to mine because I knew I was going to be using this as a bushcraft pack and be hiking with it. So I wanted a sternum strap to help with that. And of course, you've got lots of adjustment. And another thing that he's building into a lot of his bags are dedicated strap keepers. So you can roll up that excess strap and Velcro them and they're not dangling everywhere. So fantastic feature there. And then I think as you can see, we have padding in the back and um, really quality, heavy-duty stitching. Bottom of the pack, there are actually straps. That you could put a bedroll, a wool blanket, a coat, and shove that in there. Um, there's enough strap on this pack that you can open this up and put something pretty big under here and then pull it down tight. Of course, we've got the keepers on it as well. Uh, fast text buckles, not the cheap stuff. These are good quality buckles. And then when you open this bag up, pull that flap back, and this is where the bag really becomes kind of unusual compared to other bags. It is a roll top design. Um, there is a lot of uh, capacity that can be added to this bag. And overstuff it and go up, you know, that's another good six to eight inches of material, and that flap is going to cover it because there's enough strap. He's giving you plenty of strap that you're not going to be short. So roll top design, patch panel uh, sewn on, that comes standard, and then there's another pocket down here with that long zipper pull. And this is just a flat pocket. I've got my firebox stove. another great item um, that I've had for years and years is the Hidden Woodsman sig signal panel. Now I don't really use it for signaling, that's not a concern uh, for me. I use this for fire prep. I throw this on the ground, I put um, all my sticks my, that I collect, my, cur uh, my shavings, my curls, my wood, so it keeps things dry as I'm getting a fire going. Um, and since it's bright orange, it's easy to see, you, you're not stepping in your stuff, knocking things over, so it just makes a good working base. Um. So there's the roll top. You can just kind of roll that back and create kind of a mouth, right? 
So you can get in here now. Remove some of the stuff I have. I, I put a foam seat pad in mine because that's something I use all the time. But tons of room in here to do stuff. Cook kit. Got my pot with some food. I've got my possibles pouch with all my survival gear. Fire starting stuff. Got a small tarp. And then I've got a bag that has cordage, tent stakes, things like that. Uh, that doesn't even fill the bag. And then on the inside, if you look in here, more of that bright yellow material. What that is, is that is a pocket. And I think for most people, you know, you would use this for a hydration bladder, but you could also use it for a laptop if you are using this bag for EDC. And that is a very long pocket. So that runs pretty much the entire length of this bag. And I think it's right around 17 inches um, is the back on this pack. I think another thing that would be really good to go with this bag, and I haven't done it yet, but I need to try it, is getting a small plastic garbage can, like a trash can that you would find for an office, sticking that in there and then filling it with your contents. And then when you get to where you're at, you just pull that can out and all your stuff is stacked up and you can get to it pretty easily. Um, definitely not necessary because the pack has plenty of structure because of the weight of the material. But it's just something else that you could do with it, um, especially if you're trying to contain maybe wet gear. So now what I do is I just roll this down, click that, and I've kind of put that towards the back so it's covered. And then this comes down and boom, you got it all closed up. Overall, really happy with this pack. Can't beat the quality. Um, I think these are on sale too on his website, so I'll have a link down below for his site, so check that out. Um, like I said, a lot of different colors now. I think there's a couple things about this bag that are going to um, either make it or break it for certain people. Um, you have to know this going into it. Uh, there is no molly, so you can't really attach any pouches. There are no places to hang stuff um, off of it. You really can't carry axes, tomahawks, long things because the, pa the pockets are not passed through. Um, but you may be able to get um, something rigged up um, in your own way. You could always run something this way if it's a short tomahawk or something like that. But you know, for some people, they they will not get this pack because of that. Um, but if you're using a large knife. Um, as your, one of your main cutting tools, you know, like this, like this work tough um, Wolverine that I got, uh, it fits in there perfectly. And you could put a junglus, an SE junglus, or something like that in the side pocket. So you do have some options for carrying larger knives. These these tall zip, uh, <clears throat> these tall slip pockets really do a good job of carrying that kind of stuff. Because I've got my knife, my Baco. And I've even got my, my Super Mega Fire Steel in here, so all those things fit down there nicely. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching the video. As always, please like, subscribe, and share. Check out all the affiliate links down below. Check out the Hidden Woodsman website. I'll have a link down to this pack on that in, in the description. Also check out preparedwander.com. Uh, that website has got a lot of extra articles and information on there and then check out the facebook group getting huge like 4.3 thousand something like that people joined the facebook group so there's a lot of interesting content on there that people are publishing showing stuff that they do all right guys i'm going to get out of here i'm going to hike a little bit more um, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on a prepared wanderer